Welcome back to our channel, Crux Stationalis. Today, the Roman station church is San Pietro in Vincoli, or in English, St. Peter in Chains. It is a minor basilica and is best known for being the home of Michelangelo's Statue of Moses, part of the tomb of Pope Julius II. Come and explore today's Roman Station Church with me. Before we get started, please subscribe to our video, turn on the notification bell, and hit the like button. And at the end, don't forget to share with your family and friends. This Basilica of St. Peter in Chains is also known as the Basilica Eudoxiana. It was first rebuilt on older foundations between the years 432 to 440 to house the relic of the chains which bound St. Peter when he was imprisoned in Jerusalem. The episode called The Liberation of St. Peter recounted in Acts chapter 12. We read from Acts 12. Herod proceeded to arrest Peter also. It was the Feast of Unleavened Bread. He had taken him into custody and put in prison under the guard of four squads of four soldiers each. He intended to bring him before the people after Passover. Peter thus was being kept in prison, but prayer by the church was fervently being made to God on his behalf. On the very night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter, secured by double chains, was sleeping between two soldiers, while outside the door guards kept watch on the prison. Suddenly the angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in his cell. He tapped Peter on the side and awakened him, saying, Get up quickly. The chains fell from his wrist. The angel said to him, Put on your belt and your sandals. He did so. Then he said to him, Put on your cloak and follow me. So he followed him out, not realizing that what was happening through the angel was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. They passed the first guard, then the second, and came to the iron gate leading out to the city, which opened for them by itself. They emerged and made their way down an alley, and suddenly the angel left him. The chains were eventually presented to Pope Leo I. The tradition holds that when Leo compared them to the chains of St. Peter's final imprisonment in the Mamertine prison in Rome, the two chains miraculously fused together. As you saw, these chains are now kept in a reliquary under the main altar in the basilica. The basilica, consecrated in the year 439 by Pope Sixtus III, has undergone several restorations, among them a restoration by Pope Adrian I, and further work in the 11th century. From the years 1471 to 1503, in which year he was elected Pope Julius II, Cardinal della Rovere, the nephew of Pope Sixtus IV, effected notable rebuilding. The front portico attributed to Baccio Pontelli was added in 1475. The cloister, built between the years 1493 and 1503, has been attributed to Giuliano da San Gallo. Further work was done at the beginning of the 18th century under Francesco Fontana and another renovation in the year 1875. This fresco is by Giovanni Battista Parodi, portraying the miracle of the chains. It was completed in the year 1706. This altarpiece is by Cristoforo Roncalli, the same artist who painted the apse fresco of Saints John and Paul, which we saw last Friday. This altar holds a mosaic of St. Sebastian from the 7th century. This mosaic is related to an outbreak of plague in Pavia in northern Italy. The relics of St. Sebastian were taken there in order to stop an outbreak of plague in the year 680, since Sebastian was believed to have been born in the province of Lombardia, and an altar was constructed for his relics at a San Pietro in Vincoli in Pavia. As a symbol of the subsequently reinforced relationship between Pavia and Rome, 
An identical altar to St. Sebastian was built at the Roman church of the same name, resulting in a parallel cult for the saint in both regions. We pan over from these frescoes in the sanctuary to Michelangelo's Moses, which makes part of Pope Julius II's funeral monument along with that of his family della Rovere. Giorgio Vasari, in the life of Michelangelo, wrote, Michelangelo finished the Moses in marble, a statue of five braccia, or just under four meters, or 13 feet, unequaled by any modern or ancient work. Seated in a serious attitude, he rests with one arm on the tablets and with the other holds his long, glossy beard, the hairs so difficult to render in sculpture being so soft and downy that it seems as if the iron chisel must have become a brush. The beautiful face like that of a saint and mighty prince seems as one regards it to need the veil to cover it. So splendid and shining does it appear, and so well has the artist presented in the marble the divinity with which God had endowed that holy countenance. Thank you for joining us today at the Roman Station Church of San Pietro in Vincoli. We'll see you tomorrow.